If you're human, you like to experience exciting things in life. Maybe that's traveling to new countries, playing sports, skydiving. During this pandemic, we've all been going stir crazy from staying home so much and not being able to be physically active. But what if I told you, you could travel anywhere in the world or even the universe without leaving the confines of your bed? Lucid dreaming occurs when you become aware that you're dreaming and it typically happens during rapid eye movement or REM sleep. After you identify your dreaming, you're essentially living the dream on your own terms, except without the restrictions of the real world. As you can assume, most of these are positive dreams because you can literally choose exactly what you do. You can stop time, jump through walls, and even practice playing your sport. In fact, there was a 2012 study conducted of almost 1,000 German athletes. Around 10% of them used lucid dreaming to practice their sport skills, and almost all of them reported increased real life performance. It's like a virtual reality simulator, except you have a third of your life to play. The average person has one natural lucid dream a month, but now scientists are researching cognitive ways to train yourself to have lucid dreams. Okay, so you want to get started with lucid dreaming. Start recording your dreams. UC Berkeley sleep and dream professor Raphael Vallot discovered that tracking and reflecting upon your dreams significantly improves dream recall. So, by recording your dreams, you'll be able to trace themes that reoccur in them and therefore identify whether you're in your waking consciousness or lucid. Identifying your dreaming is the most essential step to going lucid. As far as methods for recording your dream, you can record it in voice memos on your phone, or the most popular and my personal favorite, writing in a dream journal. Okay, so a few months ago, my English teacher, Mr. Kennedy, recommended I start writing in one of these to help me go lucid. I thought the same thing you're thinking right now, that this wouldn't actually help me go lucid. But scientists, professors, and lucid dreamers promise it works. Have it by your bedside, and the instant you wake up, before you check your phone, before you think about what you're going to have for breakfast, before you get out of bed, record what happened in as much detail as humanly possible. The thing here is you want to make sure you're documenting the entirety of your dream, with a special emphasis on details and events that would otherwise be impossible in the real world. These can help you identify which reality checks you should focus on, which are things you do throughout the day to confirm you're physically present and with practice become habits of yours that transfer over to the spiritual, mysterious dream world. So, for instance, say you always see walls in your dreams, which you know because you record these details in your dream journal each morning. Start touching walls in real life. During the day, you'll obviously know you're awake, but once you do in your dream, your hand might go right through the wall and not actually feel it. If you don't have a motif like this, make your own reality check, which can really be anything as long as you stick with it. Don't be intimidated by this whole reality check thing. It's really just like developing any other habit, like brushing your teeth or checking your phone. Everyone can do this. I'm no medical expert by any means, but from talking to people who are lucid dreaming experts, if you're persistent for a few weeks or months, you will eventually do your reality check in your dream. And for some of you like me, it might take months. In fact, I'm just like you, totally new to this phenomenon of lucid dreaming. Just two weeks ago, I had my first lucid dream, and I've been trying to ever since I found out about what they were three months ago. Sure, it wasn't anything spectacular by any means. I was just walking down a nature path surrounded by trees toward a basketball hoop. But just being aware I was dreaming was what made it so special. Even though the actual dream was fairly normal, it was refreshing to know that I was dreaming, yet still had a real life-like experience. For my reality check, I just clapped my hands. Try with me real quick, clap a couple of times. Ah, thank you, thank you. But in all seriousness, the way I did this was by clapping at all times I remembered, when having breakfast, between classes, before I slept. The defining factors are your motivation and discipline, not necessarily what your reality check is. Just pick one of the ones I mentioned before, or choose one that would give you clear indications you're not in the real world. With these tips, I'm confident you can succeed. Renowned sleep expert Matthew Walker also recommends repeating to yourself you're about to enter a dream before you enter it. Using this sort of mantra or repetition of these words as a memory device will make you more likely to remember you're in the dream during it. This was one of the keys to helping me remember I was in the dream pretty early on since I had just been repeating it to myself before falling asleep. We all get bored at home, and lucid dreaming can be a mechanism for us to escape our humdrum lives and the burden of our shelter in place. Remember, 
It doesn't matter if you have any prior experience. Everyone can learn to lucid dream and benefit from it. So, everyone, tonight, when you finish your math homework, and before you lay your head down on that fluffy pillow, bring a piece of paper and pen by your bedside. And when you wake up with your messy hair and annoying alarm clock ringing, pick up that pen and start writing. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you skydiving off Mount Everest sometime soon.